Hi guys, it's Quinia again. So today I'm going to be doing a little, something a little bit different. Normally I give these lovely plant 3D quick tips, but one of the things I've had recently was inquiries about how can we do some, you know, some more virtual tours around plants. So normally we'd use something like Nevis Works, though in this case to give us a little bit more realism and depth and even the future prospect of chucking one of our models into VR. What we can do is, as you can see on my screen, have the ability to throw our model into a game engine, i.e. in this case, Unity. Why Unity and not one of the others, such as Unreal? Well, Unity just plays nice, especially with the um, Autodesk software. You do have to jump through a hoop or two to get plant into here, but it is possible. In this case, I've actually used Navis Works to bring it in. Um, it's just a faster workflow. There is better workflows such as using 3ds Max, yeah, meaning that you can apply all your lovely materials, lights, etc. But this way it works quite nicely by itself. So, without further ado, I'm just going to quickly show you something you're going to need to do though once you've brought this thing in. If you do want to see how this is done, please look at some of my blogs I've done prior. Uh, prior. So, what we need to do though what people don't realize is that once you actually import your model which is the easy part you're going to need to have a first person controller because if i try and hit play now it's not going to do much so we need a controller to look at now lucky for you i've actually found one that is brilliant to use so far now if you click over here on the asset store you'll notice that the store has moved completely online if you click the online it then launches your unity store and it should automatically log you in now you can go through here and try and search and what we are searching for is an fps controller so what we are going to do here is i've already found a controller that works quite nicely uh, that uh, you're not going to struggle too much with if you're going to use it which is if you look for this one over here which is first person all-in-one by Aiden Graves. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a beautiful controller. It works very nicely and so far not had an issue with it. Um, please drop this guy a like or two, give him a good review if you use it and you like it. Uh, this is actually really great. So without further ado, let me just quickly show you this. So if you click open in Unity and you're logged in, it's going to ask you do you want to do this you can click open link and it is going to bring it in into your package manager manager sorry because we've already done this uh or i've done this you'll notice it's already in here if you haven't it'll do the whole download thing etc or it'll bring you in here and you'll have to click the little download button over here on the right i've already done this yeah i don't have to worry about this but what i do have to do is click the import button when I import it, it's going to then chuck it into my scene. Do I want to bring this stuff in? Because it does have some test stuff in here, what I am going to do is just drop out some stuff. Actually, you know what, for the case of this, I'm not even going to drop out some stuff. I'm just going to bring it in so that you can see the whole package. And I'm just going to go import. So I'm importing everything. This does have a lot of stuff in here that you're probably not going to need, but in this case, I'm just showing you how to be in the simplest form. Just drop it straight in, and we've got our first person controller. What I'm going to do is going to jump all the way down to first person, and drag this dude into my tree, my hierarchy over here. Notice, I went into the pack, first person, find what I was looking for which is the this object also got the little script next, next to it now believe it or not that's it that's done all we have to do is let's take a look ah uh, there we go okay we can actually see there is actually our controller over there if you click on him you can move him about let's see where his default position is for what I'm going to show you now this is as far as I'm going to go because all we do is when we click play, whoops, we are falling through the world. That is because I have not put that onto 
being a non-collidable object. If you do have this issue, it's very simple to fix. Go back into your asset, click your 3D model, look familiar, that's your, what you're seeing there, and make sure that generate colliders is on. This could take a few seconds to do, but once you've done it, you only have to do it there. Generate colliders does sometimes help. Okay, once that is on, and we play. Oh, still on play. We can then walk around our model. How cool is that? As simple as downloading, dragging and dropping. As they say, it's easy when you know how. Thanks guys, I hope this helps you a bit. If you do have any queries, drop me a message, let me know, hope you have a good one. Cheers, eh? Bye.